ladies and gents, here is Shy Bike. I just wanted to say hi to you. And now we change the view as I'm reviewing for you the fork. Today it's gonna be the RockShox Spike RC, the one you've seen on the Canyon Spectral I've been testing for you. And I must tell you, I love making such reviews because these are so simple, because we have some good stuff here. I'm gonna share with you three advantages of this fork. One thing I disagree with other reviewers. One thing I don't fully understand about this fork and its features. And finally, one tip about using the fork. So all the Pike users or those who wanna buy this one, I just wait for the tip I'm gonna give you. So let's start with the review. This fork is made for 27.5 wheels. You can always find this info here on the stickers. This is the Solo Air, uh, 150 millimeters of travel. Uh, sorry for my lighting, I'm still trying to do, to do it better, to make it better. This is the RC model, uh, 42 millimeters uh, offset of the fork, right? Uh, and we have the 15 by 100 spindle, and as I said, 27.5 millimeters fork. Three advantages of RockShox Pike RC. Um, let's start with not the, not the main one, not the most important one for me at least, but it's the weight. I'm gonna show you the weight of this fork on my scale. And the scale will display pretty much what the manufacturer uh, tell us on the website. It's 1830 grams. So 1830 grams with the adapter for the brake. And then the axle would add just around 70 grams, 75. So that would be 1900 grams, one kilo, 1.9 kilo with the uh, axle and with the adapter. And the steer having the length of 21 centimeters and that is a good weight for the fork with a, a 150 millimeters of travel so that was thing number one number two and the most important for me is the performance or performance of the fork i love when the description of the manufacturers makes so much sense and i do agree with what they say this is a very plush fork and this is the fork that will allow you to ride high in its travel. And man, you just sit on the bike with this fork and you will feel it right, right away. So RockShox, really good job. What you tell us here makes so much sense and it really does feel that way. So the fork is very plush. Um, it, it makes you ride very comfy. Uh, it will be very good for all mountain and enduro. It's been used in enduro for two years because this one has been released just two years ago, exactly two years ago in February, February 2015. So how plush it is and how high in the travel it allows uh, to go, it's really a good stuff. Here we will, uh, of course, um, put some pressure uh, on the air spring. Here we have also uh, compression, but I will talk about this uh, just in a second. And down here we have rebound, which works very, very well. Also, setting up this fork is um, pretty easy. All the features, easy to find and easy to understand. So weight, performance, that's the advantage. That is advantage. And the third one is the maintenance. Uh, RockShox forks uh, are quite often easy uh, in uh, maintaining. Uh, so what you would do maybe every 30, 50 hours with this fork, you can, you can do it with no problem. You don't have to be really, you know, advanced uh, in uh, maintaining your bike. So weight, performance and easy maintenance. The fourth thing uh, I wanted to share with you is what I disagree with other uh, reviewers about and it's the stiffness. Uh, I would say this fork is just stiff enough uh, but many reviews will tell you it is a super stiff, extremely stiff fork uh, and I disagree with that. 
It might be also because I'm riding lefty, uh, even the, the stiffer one now, the 2.0, and after uh, riding that, that one, no, forks, uh, no fork will feel uh, really super stiff. But um, this is not a critic of this fork. Um, I would not say this one shines in terms of the stiffness, that's my feeling, but it's just stiff enough. So it works fine, you will, you will feel safe on this fork really really hitting some some bumps some jumps uh, going through the ramps it really does the job finally the thing i don't fully understand about the fork is the compression uh, i mean i understand the feature but in the description rockshox say that it is the low pressure um, low uh, speed uh, compression uh, to lock. Now let's start with the first thing is that it doesn't have lock lockout so it won't lock uh, with the maximum compression it still works pretty well. Uh, I would not say this one is broken because the compression you can feel as you change the compression to the through the middle to the maximum you will feel the difference so it really works but it doesn't lock the fork uh, and this was the in the description of the RC model. So that's something I don't fully understand. And also they say it is the low speed compression adjustment. Uh, I would not say just low speed because it works very well for, for the high speed bumps. And uh, I was actually thinking about those high speed hits when setting up this uh, compression. Actually, I would use the maximum one and the sack below 20%. So if you have more knowledge, if you use these forks, let us know what does it mean the lock here. Maybe these are, I don't know, different models, but shouldn't be. The other model would be RCT3, uh, but it will have just different uh, adjustments, some more uh, adjustments. So that was the thing. And finally, the tip for RockShox Spike users get yourself the bottomless, uh, bottomless tokens. Uh, I'm not sure if this one comes with the tokens, I don't, I don't think so, but if you buy, a, buy it with the bike, you don't get the tokens. What do you need uh, tokens for? You, um, you put those here in the air spring so that you decrease the volume of the air here. Why so? Because as Rock should say, this will allow you to work to go high in the uh, in the travel. But in my case, I would just end up with this O-ring being here on the top. That means I was bottoming out easily with the maximum compression uh, set here. So sack um, less than 20% maximum compression, and I would still bottom out easily. And I'm co cross country rider. I'm not enduro rider. I'm, I don't, I don't know how to fly, you know, 20, 30 meters <laughs> in the sky. Uh, I do jumps, uh, I, I'm riding aggressively, but it was very easy to uh, bottom out. So bottomless tokens, I would say really, really uh, important here. If you run some, let us know how many do you put here? What sack do you put there? What do you change in the um, air pressure, in the, uh, in the air spring? So that we'll know even more. Once more, really good piece of fork. I love having stuff that is just good and I do recommend that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Redneck. Right, yeah, please.